Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for July 13th to the 14th of 2023. You could be watching Squid Games or playing Rock, Paper, Scissors because right before I cut on your reading or some old school game that you used to play as a kid, I heard Court Quartz Partsman Shears and I think I got that from Misadventures of Flapjack but that's basically just Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Sagittarius. July 13th to the 14th of 2023 for Sagittarius. Next 48 hours for Sagittarius. I'm just seeing someone play old childhood games or you're watching Squid Games or something that incorporates old childhood games. Or you could be watching um this like really low budget horror movie called... uh. Urban Legend, I think that's what it's called. Breathe, Spirit. Now I see someone playing Hopscotch. Candle, Enlightenment. The Monster, Victim. Oh, an overall energy is spell casting, Protection. So it's spirit enlightenment. I love that for you. I feel like you're realizing that someone's trying to victimize you or someone's trying to make you out to be the monster when really they're the perpetrator in a situation and you're just not letting it happen. Over energy is protection. Yeah, you're standing up for yourself. You're just not letting it happen. <laughs> Maybe they probably got away with it before. You're not letting them get away with it again. Or you're just not, you're not allowing yourself to fall into the victim mentality. You're not allowing yourself to be victimized and you're not letting anyone portray you as the monster. You're just, you're not going for none of it. Basically, you're not going for none of that. I don't know why anyone would try a Sagittarius on this. So I don't, I've never known a Sagittarius to go for none of that. Yeah, you're protecting your energy from this, just period. I see someone eating a fajita or making a fajita. I see someone frying peppers and onions. Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and a new cycle. And a new cycle of abundance as well. Page of Swords, someone can see this or witness this. King of Cups, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be, though. Three of Wands, your ships are coming in. I feel like you're very in tune with your emotions and intuition. When the King of Cups shows up, that's like emotional maturity. I don't know why I heard grace. You could have grace or be showing someone or something grace or giving that to yourself. That could be on um, someone's name. And now I'm tasting like pickled something, pickled something. I don't know what it is, but something's pickled that you're eating. I cut the deck to see the Five of Cups. Overall energy is the Tower, Aries. Oh my God, I'm hearing this this real ratchet song. I don't want to sing it. <laughs> but basically, you're not going for none of this. Basically, with the tower, I feel like someone is very shocked. I feel like you're having, yeah, enlightenment, a shocking realization, an awakening within yourself, and you're shaking some shit up. You're realizing that someone tried to make you the monster or someone tried to victimize you. Either way, again, you're not going for none of it. I feel like you're putting someone directly in their place. And with the Page of Swords, someone seeing that, yeah, I feel like you're going into a cycle and you're like, I'm not about to pity myself. I'm, my ships are coming in three of wands. You're very emotionally mature. You're not letting anyone drain you emotionally and you're not dependent on anyone. You're just very emotionally mature. You're tapped in with your spirit, yourself, your intuition, your emotions. You're just studying yourself. You can see that about yourself. And everything's just going well for you. You're attracting great things to yourself because you're in alignment with yourself in a very healthy way and you're protecting your energy just period so let's clarify i think the enlightenment here is realizing how easy it is once you realize what was going on around you you're like oh okay shifting my energy <laughs> i feel like you shifted right into this and you never looked back <laughs>
the Emperor Aries. I feel like you're in this Emperor energy, but of course you could be dealing with this Emperor type person. Could be an Aries or an older person, a boss, five of swords. This person could have been very critical of you. Again, this person criticized you harshly and tried to make you the monster or tried to victimize you, but you turned the tables on this person. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, the cycle. One thing about them tables, they always turn, always. So that's why you got to be mindful. And that's the whole core of karma because tables always turn. So you need to be mindful of how you treat people. And this person, they're getting their just due. Clarifying the page of swords is judgment. The star, hope and healing. Yeah, I feel like you're getting this enlightenment, this revitalization, especially with spirit and enlightenment. You, you've been given a second chance. You've been reawakened. You've been um, enlightened. Somebody could have thought that you were down or done or over with, but they're seeing like that you've healed the star or that you're rising back into um, notoriety with the star. Uh, could be an Aquarius involved with the star card, but that's hope and healing. Someone's watching you heal. Someone's watching you rise to fame, especially with judgment in the star. Someone's watching you get a second chance, a reawakening. And it's a shock to them. Clarifying the King of Cups is the King of Pentacles. So someone really thought they ate that. Ace of Swords, truth. Clarity about your abundance, about your stability, about your emotional maturity, intuition. Clarifying three wands, four pentacles. So the money that you're getting right now, you could be starting a savings. Or just know that the um, with three wands, I always get that as customers or just the blessings that are coming in. They're going to be stable and steady for a while with the four pentacles as stability. So just be mindful of that, that the customers and abundance and, and the blessings that are coming in are going to be stable. And they're going to make a strong foundation for you here. Or you have a strong foundation in regards to a business or your own um, business or your career. It's very stable. It's very strong. So expect these blessings to keep coming in. Yeah, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. You wish for stability. You wish for your business to come in or you create a strong foundation within you and yourself so that these blessings could keep coming in. I'm literally seeing the four of pentacles as a dock and these ships just keep docking. Over energy is a lover, it's Gemini the choice. And it's all because you made a conscious decision. Like, wait, this could be not literally, but this is just an example. This could be someone who's been sitting in a room, just staring at the wall, depressed for like years. And then all of a sudden they realize, wait, I can change this. This doesn't have to be forever. I can get up and change my whole situation. And then ever since that moment, doesn't matter if it was nine years, 10 years, one day, one month, whatever, three weeks, whatever. Someone made a conscious decision and a switch flipped and they just got up and changed their whole life. And it's like a tower to someone else. It's a shock to someone else. But yeah, someone's reached some type of enlightenment with protection, enlightenment. I'm going to read spirit real quick, just real quick. Because this deck is new and I need to know. And then I'm going to pull from um, this deck here. Breath, spirit. Look for signs, messages, and guidance in the mundane. So like, you know, um, it could be insects. You could pick up the spiritual meaning of certain insects. like Or remember what you were thinking about when you see angel numbers or just anything, you know. Keep a note of your dreams, dream journal. Explore different breathing techniques. Spend time in nature, communing with past loved ones. Okay. Yeah, I feel like someone was trying to use criticism to control your life or to control the way your life was going. Someone wanted to dictate the way your life was going to go, but it didn't go that way. No matter what someone did, the wheel still turned in your favor. I just feel like you realize that. You had some type of awakening or realization and you made a conscious decision, an important choice to like point your life in the right direction. Maybe you decided to reopen a business or retry something or reapply for something or just start some energy back up within you. 
and someone is seeing that. Basil, reconciliation. This could be a reconciliation with yourself, with a past um, situation. You don't have to actually talk to this person. Some of you could actually talk to this person and reconcile with someone. But for others of you, you could be... Um, you could be going back to an old job or just um, trying something again, revitalizing something, giving something a second chance, whether that's yourself or um, a job or a path. Blackberry invasive and removing that energy from within yourself and anyone else because life is not happening to you. All right. Even if, you know, we've gone through certain things because we can only control ourselves, right? But you're realizing that you are happening to life. Not Life is not happening to you. Mugwort intuition. That's what I was saying a lot in this reading. Your intuition is very strong. Trust it. Trust it. Overall energy is Arnica recovery. Yes, I feel like you're coming out of some type of funk, some type of mindset or feelings you could have had. You're coming out of it. And I feel like coming back very strong. Like, this is like you took weeks or years out of the gym, then all of a sudden you're back in the gym almost daily. Now, don't push yourself too hard because you don't want to injure yourself. But I just feel like you stopped something for a while or you felt like you couldn't do something. But you're giving yourself a second chance. And with the tower, it's like a very strong comeback, very strong recovery. Like, this isn't something slow. It just happens the moment you have this enlightenment. It's like you're just right back to doing or right back in something in a good way. You're not going back to this negativity. You're back in action in a more positive, uplifting, and strong way. Yeah, with protection. You're protecting your energy. I love that. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.